now we start an important topic uh, in the module uh, the functions of complex variables that is the calculus of residues and its applications so now uh, first of all we define what is a residue uh, suppose uh, a function is singular at some point is at zero then the function can be expanded using Lorentz series. So the coefficient of z minus z0 all to the power minus 1 in the expansion of f of z around this isolated singularity z0 is called the residue of the function f of z at that point is at equal to z0. So, uh, now we have um, an isolated singularity z0 and uh, the function can be expanded using that isolated singularity f of z is equal to a0 plus a1 into z minus z0 uh, plus etc. So, this is the corresponding Lorentz series expansion of the function around the isolated singularity. A minus 1 divided by Z minus Z0 plus A minus 2 divided by Z minus Z0 whole square plus etc. So, this is the Lorentz series expansion. So, here the coefficient of Z minus Z0 whole to the power minus 1 that is this term coefficient of this term is called the residue of the function at the point z equal to z0. The coefficient of um, z minus z0 all raised to minus 1 or uh, the coefficient of 1 over z minus z0 in the expansion of uh, f of z around the isolated singularity z0 is called the residue of the function. So, here the residue is the coefficient a minus 1 here. So, the residue of f of z, uh, residue of f of z at z equal to z0 is nothing but a minus 1. Okay. So, we know that uh, the function f of z can be written in the terms of Lorentz series as summation n goes from minus infinity to plus infinity a n z minus z0 raised to n. So, here a n is equal to 1 over 2 pi i closed integral f of z dz divided by z minus z0 whole to the power n plus 1. f of z, no, f of z prime you say, yeah, with the definite integral and the integral, integrating variable can be anything. But we have already come to residue is nothing but a minus 1. So, this expression is a minus 1 and the value can do it. A minus 1 is equal to n is minus 1 over here, 1 over 2 pi i closed integral f of z dz divided by z minus z0 raised to minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, anything raised to 0 is 1. So, we have a minus 1 is equal to uh, 1 over 2 pi i closed integral f of z dz by 1. Now, if we have closed integral f of z dz dz i to conduct once we know the residue of the function, closed integral f of z dz is nothing but 2 pi i times the residue. So, this is the a minus 1 is the residue of f of z at z equal to z0. So, closed integral f of z dz is 2 pi i into residue of f of z at uh, z equal to z0. So, therefore, the residue plays an important, very important role in the theory of uh, complex variables. So, once we know the residue, the closed integral of the function over a closed condo can be easily calculated.
and now we discuss the residue theorem so if f of z is analytic in a closed curve c except at a finite number of singular points is at 1 z2 z3 etc up to z n within c then closed integral f of z dz over the c is equal to 2 pi i into the sum of all residues at singular points within c sum of all residues so that is 2 pi i into the residue of f of z at z equal to z1 plus the residue of f of z at z equal to z2 plus etc up to the residue of f of z at z equal to z n okay so now we are going to prove this uh, residue theorem so according to residue theorem closed integral f of z dz is equal to uh, 2 pi i into the sum of all residues at the singular points within c so uh, here we do the proof suppose uh, we have the singular points z1 z2 z3 and z n so now each uh, singular point is surrounded by uh, small circles c1 c2 c3 etc up to cn such that it encloses no other singular point if z1 is surrounded by the cherry circle varikya c1 okay z2 is surrounded by c2 z3 is surrounded by c3 zn is around it cn okay appa idella clockwise direction la nu nammal mark cheyunnathu so uh, then these circles c1 c2 etc up to cn together with this circle c form a multiply connected region we multiply connected region and namku or simply connected region aakam by introducing cross strips so in this multiply connected region uh, ee circles olivaaki kanja baaki ella edathum function analytic aanu so this multiply connected region is converted into simply connected region by introducing cross cuts of infinitesimal length and by applying the modified form of cauchy's integral theorem so according to uh, the modified form of cauchy's integral theorem uh, the outer integral is the sum of the integrals over the inner contour app ivadha outer integral nu varna c aanu ivu c ivda Uh, anti clockwise lan c1 c2 ella clockwise lan appo inganeyulla integral nammal already cheyidadana now converting all this into anti clockwise directions and finally we get that the closed integral f of z dz over the outer contour c is equal to the sum of integrals over the inner contour integral f of z dz over c1 plus closed integral f of z dz over c2 plus closed integral f of z dz over c3 plus etc plus uh, closed integral f of z dz over c n so now all those integrals are along anti clockwise direction so we don't have to put the symbol over here so mm, and uh, we have seen that this closed integral f of z dz over c1 uh, such that the c1 contains only one singular point in it and c2 contains only one uh, singular point z2 and c3 contains only one singular point z3 and cn contains only one singular point z10 so uh, we have already seen that if there is only one singularity then closed integral f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i 
into residue of f of z at z equal to z1. So the singularity in the c1 is z1. Uh, so uh, we have to find the residue uh, in the expansion of uh, f of z l around the singular point is z1. So that is uh, then uh, the second term cos integral f of z dz over c2 is 2 pi i into the residue of f of z at z equal to z2 plus etc plus 2 pi i into the residue of f of z at z equal to zn. So now uh, 2 pi i can be taken as the common factor. So closed integral f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into the residue of f of z at z equal to z1 plus the residue of f of z at z equal to z2 uh, plus etc up to the uh, residue of f of z at z equal to zn. Okay, or we can write uh, this closed integral f of z dz over the outer contour uh, which contains n number of singularities is 2 pi i into summation i goes from um, 1 to sorry uh, we can use another uh, index case since we have used i as root of minus 1 k goes from 1 to n uh, residue of f of z at uh, z equal to zk or uh, we can write this as uh, 2 pi i into the sum of all residues uh, that is the sum of all residues at a singular points within so this is nothing but uh, the uh, residue theorem. We have proved uh, the residue theorem using uh, a condor uh, C which contains n number of singular points Z1, Z2, Z3 etc up to Zn. So according to residue theorem, so if f of z is analytic in a closed curve C except at a finite number of singularities z1, z2, z3, etc. up to zn within C, then closed integral f of z dz is equal to the 2 pi i into sum of all residues at singular points within C. That is 2 pi i into residue of f of z at z equal to z1 plus residue of f of z at z equal to z2 plus etc. up to residue of f of z at z equal to zn. So, if the residues uh, at the different singular points within the contour are known, uh, it is easy to calculate the closed integral of the uh, function um, around the closed contour C. So, that is why we have a closed contour. We have a singular point contour where the singular points are considered outside the contour we consider it. In that one singular points we residues calculate. In that one the residues in the sum of that that is 2 pi i going to multiply the area closed integral f of the d is going to get. So in the next class we will see how we calculate the residues. Calculation of residues. By once number you residues calculate either closed integral f of z uh, dz is nothing but 2 pi i into the sum of uh, all residues of uh, over the at singular points uh, within uh, C. So the residues are closed integral cal calculate yeah. so, the um, calculus on integral and so, this method is called calculus of residues. So, once residues are calculated, once we know the calculation of residues, we can find this integral. So, that is the calculus of residues. Okay. Thank you. In the next class, uh, we discuss the calculation of residues.